Philippians, chapter 2, verses 12 and 13 reads. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. 13. For it is God who works in you to will, and to act, in order to fulfill his good purpose. Let's get started. Today, I urge you to seize the essence of these verses and embark on a transformative journey towards personal growth and salvation. Fear and trembling. These words, my friends, calls upon us to embrace a profound responsibility. They remind us that our individual paths to salvation are not passive endeavors, but active pursuits that demands our unwavering dedication. It is through our actions, it is through our choices and relentless commitment that we shape our own destiny. Let the notion of fear and trembling serve as beacons of inspiration rather than intimidation, encouragement rather than discouragement, positivity rather than negativity, nurturing rather than burdening, ignition instead of suppression. So, in regards to fear, there is nothing to fear but fear itself. FDR. Let us embrace the fear that lingers within. For it propels us to overcome our limitations, and frees us from self-imposed boundaries, and we reach heights we never deemed possible. Embrace the trembling, for it signifies the immense power that lies dormant within each one of us, awaiting its release. My dear friends, recognize that the key to unlocking this boundless potential lies not solely within our own strength, but through our connection with a force greater than ourselves. It is God who works within us, igniting the flame of desire and instilling the will to act. Embrace this divine partnership, for it empowers us to transcend our perceived limitations and embarks us on a journey of purpose and fulfillment. Together, let us synchronize our efforts with the will of the divine, channeling our energies toward fulfilling his good purpose. Let us trust in the guidance that emanates from within, and align our actions with our desires. As you do so, know that you are an instrument of God's will, a vessel through which his divine plan is realized. Today, I call upon each and every one of you to rise above mediocrity, stir up complacency, let faith smash self-doubt, and convert inactivity into action. Now, embrace the partnership with the divine, work on your salvation, and live a life of passion, on purpose. In conclusion, may you find the strength to forge ahead the courage to overcome, and the unwavering faith to fulfill your destiny. We can see it for you, believe it, you can.